What's up, YouTube fam? How are you guys doing today? Uh, today is just another day in paradise here on the Central Coast of California, live from the shop garage, whatever. Tonight we have a treat, a special for all of you, uh, Yamaha or just 125 fans in general. Uh, I currently have the engine up here being built, um, just fresh throughout um, YZ125 uh board out to 144 by eric gore this thing is just going to be absolutely a screamer i'm so pumped to be bringing you guys this video today uh no cost was spared no expense was spared on any of this we really just went ham bone and got everything that we needed for this bike to be just truly amazing and uh i'll turn around and show you what we got Robert's over here doing big work on the swing arm, getting it chingy blingy and shiny. Uh, box full of uh, reconditioned parts. Um, the stuff that we are going to use again, basically we went through and just cleaned them up super nice. You know we got the Mika bars, Mika sprockets, Mika chain. Uh, down below here we have a whole conversion plastic kit uh, on deck, ready to go. But the PS de resistance is these wheels, guys. Check these out. These were done by CIP Powder Coating here in the Central Coast of California. And a candy blue, which is, uh, I hope the video does it justice, but they're as close to an anodized blue as you can get. And they absolutely did a fantastic job powder coating these things. I've done lots of powder coating through different companies in the past but this by far the craftsmanship and the detail is just insane boys let's see if we get it up against the yellow here there's very little sunlight left we're actually coming into the afternoon now evening here in the central coast so i am going to stab some new bearings inside these things right here we got some all balls on deck uh got the front wheel bearing kit right here you got the rear wheel bearing kit right here gonna get those things in the hubs get them on the uh, tire builder or wheel building truing stand and get these uh, got some brand new uh, Buchanan stainless spokes coming in and um, yeah guys these wheels are gonna be awesome I gave you a little shot of the frame uh, this as well was powder coated glass black and I, I just can't even tell you guys like it looks like it's soaking wet right now and but that's just the gloss black that they did and it was just truly a great job i can't thank them enough i mean seriously this thing is going to be a hell of a showpiece when we are done and like i said robert's in detail right now getting that swing arm done um got a box of new parts radiator guards we got bolt company sending in all the bolts that we'll need for it there's all the old plastic we're doing away with all the old stuff and just coming in clutch with the new stuff um carburetor was clean put inside the bag ready we got radiators on deck with nice blue silicone hoses this thing guys is seriously going to be amazing we got fresh graphic kits inside the house oversized brake rotors you name it and uh, we we got it done and now we're just on assembly unfortunately an assembly here of the engine ran into a little bit of a problem um, this engine basically was toast just because the transmission had gone out it bent a shifting fork and then you replace the shifting fork but then it ate a bearing and it just junked the entire uh, transmission so we ordered a brand new transmission that's in there now um gosh uh but uh what i was getting as a kickstart idler gear that was on here from um from um the previous didn't even notice until after the fact that the shaft because the bearing had gone out inside this case right here it had eaten up uh, the idler gear so I have to order another idler gear I'm gonna make sure and get that done from MTA tonight and get it on its way so we can have it here Tuesday because we want to get this thing together as fast as possible and get this thing done and of course you know you're gonna see it all here right on YouTube at the London X channel so guys make sure and like subscribe and follow 
so you guys can see this whole build process come all the way through i'm going to get these bearings punched into these hubs uh, with the new seals and everything and uh get that thing up on the truing stand and start to get them laced up with those brand new spokes this thing is seriously gonna look phenomenal guys spokes it's just gonna look killer on this bike guys all trued and tightened i use my uh i have a torque wrench a spoke torque wrench set to 60 inch pounds to set the spokes i know i'm gonna have to come back again and set them again but looking at this thing and then real life and then looking through the camera is quite a different color but it is truly a, a beautiful powder coat version of anodized blue. And it's just going to look phenomenal on the bike. Really excited. I have to show you guys it in the daytime. That is really nice. And here's a little shot in the daylight. Uh, still, it's a little gloomy out today. Still a little gloomy out the next day. Um, but now you guys can see the contrast with the Mika sprockets. Uh, guys, got to check out MikaMetals.com, M-I-K-A, Metals.com. Uh, both of those were um, provided for this build by Mika Metals, the bars and chain sprocket combo. Uh, their attention to detail and the cleanliness, I mean, in their stuff is just so amazing. They're really, really nice sprockets. They look great on these wheel sets. Um, and uh, Robert's getting the tank all polished up now so we can uh, start to think about putting some graphics on it. We got to get the air box in, the uh, 2017 style air box and side plates and rear fender. As I am still waiting for a couple of things for the motor um, to get that thing done and put in there. Like that kick idler gear I told you guys about. And um, we got fork protectors coming. We got We got a lot of stuff still coming for this thing guys. On other news, um, hi honey. Hi. Uh, the YZ450F is up for sale, and I have a guy driving down right now from Paso Robles, which is about an hour north. Um, and he's serious as a heart attack and wants this thing. And right when I was about to uh, decide just to hang on to it and uh, have it be a second bike, uh, he hit me up and he wants it really bad. So. Uh, pop in a new air filter in it. This one that came out wasn't even wasn't even that dirty, but uh, pop a new air filter in it, and um, mm -hmm. just kind of doing some last uh, shine detail on it. it. It's like I started looking around for things to shine on it, uh, but it was already pretty clean. But uh, I'm gonna miss her. She only has 22 hours on her, guys. So barely even got to ride this thing. But the new RM Zuki's got me stoked. I'm really happy about that bike, and uh, you know it's. This the power of this thing though is just so monstrous um, compared to the RMZ. The softer power on the RMZ makes it a little easier for me to ride because I'm kind of a kind of a squid, guys. I'm a little bit of a squid. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna keep building. We're gonna keep punching away on this thing. Oh, you can't see that bike over there. You're not allowed to see that bike. You see this bike. But I got the forks on, triple clamps, uh, front wheels just kind of on there softly for now as we need fork protectors before we bolt that all up solidly. Uh, rear brakes routed, but we're going to attack this uh, rear subframe airbox. We also ordered a new muffler. I know one of the things I showed in that parts box was the old um, R304 uh, Pro Circuit muffler. We uh, decided to actually go with the, a brand new one. We ordered a factory 304. For this thing to go with uh, that 
that pipe right there. That's the pro circuit that came off of it. As you can see, I have a couple of exhaust pipes. Uh, so yeah, guys, we're gonna keep plucking away on this gloomy day, if I don't say. Oh, quit laughing at me, Robert. <laughs> look how clean you got that subframe. Man, thank you. That thing looks amazing. Looks almost like it's vapor honed. Looks <laughs> that clean. Yeah, boys. All right, boys and girls, we're getting even further along now. Robert got all the graphics off the old tank. And uh, really, guys, you got to use uh, like a good carb cleaner or something to get all the oil you want. I mean, nothing left in these tanks or else the new graphics will not stick. And uh, even me just wiping my fingers like the finger oil or whatever that can go on there can cause it not to adhere properly. So it's a really good idea to go over with some uh, brake cleaner or um, uh, quick dry uh, contact cleaner something that's just not gonna leave a residue and it's gonna just take everything off um, we got this is the uh, new air box that's going in it we just put the, the new tube in it got all blinged out um, we just he's cleaning up the clamps and the filter cage that has it going there so we can get everything inside the I'm gonna get the Suzuki in the shot so we can get everything in the subframe and get it mounted get the uh, rear fender on number plates on we'll get the front fender on um front number plate uh, radiators um basically everything just waiting for the parts to get here on the motor we have a nice full box of brand new this is the kit that you guys got to get if you want to do the same same kit uh, polysport plastic kit comes with the air box comes with everything that you need to uh, swap everything over to the new 2017 style and then just more stacks of new parts in that box like we got a lot of work to do still on our we definitely but this bike guys this thing is seriously going to be a dime piece when it's done really really excited to see it take shape there's the start guys that's basically where i'm going to leave you now with where she's at um we still got a lot of stuff to do um but on the other hand the yamaha's gone so i am a little bit bummed that the yamaha's gone but a guy named brent from up north totally stoked on it and i'm stoked for him too because it's gonna be a really good bike but um she's on to a new owner um but that's cool though so i'll use that to pay down my suzuki significantly but um the the top story we have basically the shell of the bike ready to go um as you can guys can see i mean in in, in those little swipes there it it came out really phenomenal i mean i've looked at a couple uh steel frame builds on these things and most of the part they just do the conversion on the plastic and really don't do anything else but we powder coated the frame uh got the wheels matched to the yamaha uh you know the um the anodized blue we got graphics still that are they're made they're actually inside the house i'm just not gonna put them on yet until the reveal so make sure you guys like this video you subscribe you click that notification button and get ready for the reveal because when it happens when this bike drops it is going to be seriously BA, guys, seriously. So uh, I am going to lock it down right here and give you guys some content for the day. And I told you this bike was going to be sick. But anyways, from the shop garage, whatever, this is Clint Lund and Robert. Thank you, Robert, for the help. From Lund MX.
talk to you guys very, very soon. I got my brother's wedding this weekend. I got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to try to push the bike to get it done by this weekend. But if it's not, uh, either way, you guys will see it in the next video. So keep your eyes peeled for that one, guys. So anyways, peace out for now. Love every single one of you guys, and I will talk to you soon.